What up all my two doctors and doctresses and welcome to another episode at the Tooth Factory. Today we're going to begin with a general aspect and overview of the 12 cranial nerves. So get your pens, papers out and hope you have fun. Make sure you like, share and subscribe and click the bell icon below and follow the links in Facebook and Instagram to retrieve your notes for the same topics. Hope you have fun. All right. So today we're going to begin with the cranial nerves and we're going to split this lesson into two. First one that will explain all the nerves as a list the brain and the skull view as to where the nerves origin from and the story of the nerves to help you remember all the 12 cranial nerves. The second part is going to be about trigeminal nerve, specifically its mandibular branch and some little bit about a facial nerve. Let's begin with the cranial nerve story. We're going to talk about the names and the types, the entries and the exits. So let's begin on how to remember all 12 cranial nerves. Here's a saying with which the first letter of each word represents a cranial nerve. Goes O O O to touch and feel very good velvet, such haven. O is olfactory, O is optic, O is oculomotor, 2 is trochlear, touch is trigeminal, and is abducent, feel is spatial, berry is vestibulocochlear, good is glossopharyngeal, velvet is vagus, such is spinal accessory, haven is hypoglossal. Now each nerve has a different function. It could be either sensory, motor, or both. So let's take a look at a saying that will help you remember the functions. Some say marry money, but my brother says big brains matter more. The first letter of each word represents the type of the nerve. So olfactory is sensory, optic is sensory, oculomotor is motor, Trochlear is motor, trigeminal is both sensory and motor, abducent is motor, facial is both sensory and motor, vestibulocochlear is sensory, glossopharyngeal is both, vagus is both, spinal accessory is motor, and hypoglossal is motor. Now this is a method to remember the types of the nerves in their order and their names. Now, there's one more homemade story that I'd like to explain in order for you to remember most of the nerves. So there are first three O's. First of all, anything that happens is that we smell. The smell leads us to look at the smell. So olfactory to optic, and then we move. After we look, we move towards the smell. So smell, look, and move. Olfactory, optic, and oculomotor is move. Then we start listening. That's trochlear, the ear. Then there's trigeminal. Number five is trigeminal. We remember this because most important nerve for dentistry is trigeminal and it's important. And is abducent. Remember this is a sixth nerve. Abs is six pack abs, which is abducent. Facial is seven. Now if you flip that seven upright down, it looks like a nose. So it'll help you remember facial. Or if you flip the seven opposite way, it looks like an F. So facial. 8 is vestibulocochlear. The way to remember this is that this has to do with ear, this has to do with ear. So 4 and 8 both have to do with ears. Now, number 9, glossopharyngeal. Glossopharyngeal has to do with number 9. Number 9 extended looks like a lowercase g, so glossopharyngeal. Number 10 is vagus. Vagus is the longest nerve present from the cranial nerves, so 10. It's a big number. And 11, two accessories, two ones are accessory. So spinal accessory. 12 is hypoglossal. The last one is hypoglossal. Has to do with the tongue and the function of the surrounding muscles and structures. Hope that story helped as well. Let's move on to the entry and the exits. Now, the groups of the green squares represent one particular entry or exit. Now I just want to make a point at this point is that motors will exit the brain, sensory will enter the brain. So number one, cribriform ethmoidal plate. Number two, optic canal. Three, four, five A, which is the first branch of trigeminal, and six are all from superior or vital fissure. Five B foramen rotundum, 5C, foramen oval, 3A is foramen spinosum, 7 and 8 is 
internal auditory meatus. 9, 10, and 11 are all from jugular foramen, and 12 is from the hypoglossal or anterior condylar canal. Now, all of this is words. Let's take a look at them in the diagram form for us to better understand their geographic locations. All right, let's view the skull from the superior perspective in order to view all of these nerves, entries, and exits from all of their anatomical structures as we mentioned earlier. So this is the orientation of the skull, the superior view. We're going to cross section it to view the floor of the skull in order to view the entries and exits. So here's all nerves with their exits and entries from the skull. Olfactory, which is number one, comes from the cribriform plates of the ethmoidal bone, which is at the anterior end of the skull. Optic nerve, which is the second one, comes from the optic canal, which is right at the anterior edge of the middle cranial fossa. Oculomotor, third cranial nerve. Trochlear, fourth. Abducens, sixth. And the fifth, which is trigeminal's first branch only, comes out from the superior orbital fissure. Branch number two of trigeminal nerve comes out of foramen rotundum, located posteriorly. Trigeminal's branch number three comes out of foramen oval, a little bit more posterior. Number seven, which is facial nerve, and number eight, which is vestibular cochlear, comes out of the internal acoustic or auditory meatus. Number nine, which is glossopharyngeal, number 10, vagus, number 11, spinal accessory. All of these three nerves come out of the jugular foramen. And number 12, hypoglossal, which is the 12th cranial nerve, comes out of the hypoglossal canal. This is the foramen magnum at the posterior end. Let's take a look at the cranial nerves functions one by one with a view inferior of the brain. Olfactory, cranial number one, has to do with smell. Optic, number two, has to do with vision. Oculomotor, number three, with the movement of the eye up and down. Trochlear, number four, specifically down movement in the eye. Trigeminal, with all their three branches separate, has to do with touch and facial movements and sensations from the oral cavity and surrounding structures. Abducent, number six, has to do with looking side to side. Facial, number seven, associated with the anterior two-third of the tongue and making a smile. Vestibular cochlear, number eight, has to do with hearing equilibrium. Number nine, glossopharyngeal, has to do with the posterior one-third of the tongue and speech. Vagus nerve, which is the 10th nerve, is for digestion and heart rate. Remember, it's the longest one, reaches all the way down to the abdomens. Accessory, which is the 11th, has to do with laryngeal muscles. And hypoglossal, which is number 12, associated with tongue movements, so muscles of the tongue. This is the cranial nerve, and we're going to move on to the trigeminal in the next lesson.